Uh-oh. Hello, everyone. Ah. Ah. No. Did you say no? No. Why? Oh. <laughs> My God, I am the problem. Don't get yeah. in like a crappy <laughs> mood today. Right, you lied to me. Oh, yeah, I did. I did lie to you. What we- the fuck? I did lie to you. I lied straight through my teeth. Yeah, look at uh, we got a uh, hellebore, new hellebore Discord reaction. Yeah. Already. And Summer was like, "Hey, That's so cute." Summer was like, uh-huh. hey, "Summer was like, hey, is that reaction art almost done?" And I said, "No, it's not." She's like, "That's okay." And I went, "Okay." <laughs> I was like, "You were being mean to me yeah, today. Yeah, First, I, I got was- bullied for <laughs> puking. Then he's lied to my face." Look, I I puked twice in like the past ten days. I don't. It's, you know, it's, it's blasé at this point. It being bullied. I'm being targeted. No, you're not. Flips my hair. It's okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> but then I was like, you were asking if it was ready. And I, then I was like, you know what? No. And then I enjoyed that. And I was like, oh my God, I got a bold face lie to my friends more often. <laughs> this is. <laughs> it's just like Where's when Sam. Power? It's yeah. like when Sam lies to you about something and he says it in such a straight man way that you just take it as absolute fact. Yep. Something about it, man. So, yeah. Um, new art. Uh, new art. So we got both the uh, both the lads now on screen. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, Let me see real quick where we are at with fan art. I did see a few fan art pieces. Um, don't remember where we last left. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we are. Yeah, no, you, you guys want to do a little bit of fan art before we get started? Yeah. Yeah. Since the the mood is off, according to Dodger, and then we just learned it was just it was Dodger the whole time. Yeah, she's the one ruining it. Yeah, maybe we'll maybe this will bounce it, right, Dodger? What? Nah, Look at what you it. did. You made her mute. The fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you did. did. Did Dodger just leave? Yeah, I, I, it is. It is definitely her. <laughs> oh my god! Why? Did yeah, she... look, everyone's smiling now. <laughs> what the oh fuck? no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to you, and then you don't respond, and then I mean, look, you're mute. I'm like, she stepped away. It, it is her. It is 100%. I said that I was going to mute myself, and then I unmuted to say a thing, and I was like, I didn't commit to the bit. I and so I it. muted, and then I committed to the bit, and then I got in trouble. I didn't, I didn't know you were. I didn't. I didn't know you were muting. I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. I didn't know you did that. It's okay. I apologize. Hey, Dodger, you get to pick. Would you like to do some fan art today? Yeah. Okay, let's do fan art today. Maybe that'll, you know, calm what you down a little bit. No. That'll, maybe that'll what? Calm you down a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> even out the vibes. Even out the vibes, dude. Maybe it'll even out the vibes a little bit. Jeez. I want some jungle ambience while we're doing fan art. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Welcome to the fan art jungle. It's a new segment we're doing. Uh, Audio jungle. Oh. Yeah. It's only going to be, we're only going to be doing this for this one, uh, this one session, and then I'm never doing it again. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> hey, you rat! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm explaining this. I didn't have vision, so I couldn't see the dead body for the longest Woo! time. <laughs> I just Although, thought it was a big dead rat. <laughs> otherwise, you would have uh, dragged the uh, body into the bag as well. I'm like Yes. And like, man, that's a real shame. Just brushes into that. <laughs> I love having a mental breakdown. Me, ooh, spare parts. Oh my god! How many days till Christmas? God damn it! I love that. Mm-hmm. I love it. No, 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 Put no, on no, the no, Santa no, no, no. Scoot toy maker. <laughs> no, 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 no. God, it's we've been doing this for two. We're about to be doing this for two Christmases, and we're not even close. We're not even close to done with the campaign. Jesus, Yay. February. Oh, February is going to be our two years. Oh, my <laughs> God. <Yay>. That's, <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. I think phase two didn't even last two years. I don't think. It's also funny to think we've had Pinchy for like a year and a half now. <laughs> oh, my God. It just is all there. We should have a Pinchy birthday party. <laughs> Echo- Cute. Uh, echoes of the oh, past. I love snake. that. I love this. It's so, so good. good. 
Good shit. I miss that man. That's good shit. Yeah, he 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 created the Shadow Hunters. And relocated to Asmodia. I just noticed Maggie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maggie. I'm sure my boyfriend Sick. is fine. Everything's not fine. <laughs> fine, I'm sure it's fine. You're not getting into trouble, right? <gasps> Come on, girl. Nice. Yeet. Like that love hate relationship. Good. My girl, but also my, my girl. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but my my girl. Oh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed, muscular girl. Let me get that. <laughs> Let me get that fan art roll going. Yeah. Okay. Hey. I like this style a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pretty me cool. too. That's a cool Super style. Cool. God, I forget how tall Buddy is. Have you ever seen <laughs> radiation? <laughs> Have the orb. True. Yeah! Again cool. with that! Oh my god! Look yeah. at the grim! I know! It, it's been so long since I've seen any Chiron or I just, my heart, little, my little heart just melted. I know! It's so exciting. Aww. Her dad's head is still in the no. bag! I have a crisis mm. every single time you remind mm. me about that. It's still in the bag! Every single time I have a little crisis! We'll, uh... We'll see Logan and Pinchy one day, maybe. Cool. <laughs> Someday. We have on their bro time. Yeah. Walks off into the sunset. Yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> cuties! I Cute. love that. Cuties for cuties! Uh, mm. Somewhere would you like to share the artist? This, the art is by Art of Lil Beth on Twitter. It's the artist that both me and Dodger have really liked for a long time, and I saw that their commissions opened, and so I snagged one. Nice. But he ponders a little bit. Aww. Aww. What's he thinking about? What's he? What's 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 he thinking about? You know, Joe? noodling. Noodling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the continuation of this image. <laughs> Buddy, no! Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Amazing. Oh yeah, Buddy's never... He's never fought a slime yet, right? Nope. Not yet. <gasps> Wait, really? Oops. Nope. Okay. Never. I'm not real. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's get to it. It is uh, after you guys. Uh, let's see. Let's do a quick recap so we can get into the game. Um, last uh, last session, um, half the party finally left the uh, the fire keeps hot with a very 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 traumatized Isla. Uh, yeah. the other half of the party did a little bit of fishing. Uh, uh, Elder Farah was teaching uh, Buddy how to noodle. Uh, Buddy put his foot in his mouth several times uh, and in the end was able to smooth things over after all the fish were caught. Uh, everyone gathered around for a lovely meal, except Isla, who was still having an ex- existential crisis. It was discovered uh, that perhaps the source of the psychic rats, as well as the farmhand who had transformed into this sort of psychic lycanthrope, uh, may have been uh, from the wheat itself that was transferred over from Briar Glen. Uh, this upsetted uh, Jack and was like, well, I got to go and figure out what's going on. Uh, Logan uh, also decided to do a little bit of detective work and followed uh, Jack along the way. Uh, Jack went ahead and uh, went over to Isla to let him know that he was leaving and also to let her know that they believe the farmhand was uh, essentially already dead uh, before whoever uh, did whatever to that farmhand um, sort of kind of kind of, you know, settle things a little bit, try and get Island to a better place uh, before Jack left and uh, Logan left with him. Uh, Logan had Logan had been decided to trail Jack back to Briar Glen and do a little bit of detective work uh, solo. Meanwhile, the rest of you had a lovely fish dinner uh, with the elder where you talked a little bit more about um, Ignatius Hellebore, the reason why you're at the island and why you're here to stop Ignatius. 
Uh, you also discovered that Logan was gone and trying to figure out why Logan would have left. Uh, you can ultimately came to the conclusion that he seeking vengeance in his own, he might be seeking vengeance in his own way. Uh, you tried to do a sending message. Uh, the message was sent back to Hellebor, which made Hellebor kind of angry slash bashful. We, uh, we still don't know what that message is, but it was a message Hellebor decided to keep to himself. Uh, during that conversation, uh, Elder Farah uh, eventually came to the conclusion after speaking with the Elder of Briar Glen that um, they decided they would be willing uh, to help you uh, essentially summon uh, Ignatius uh, so that you would be able to meet with him. Uh, but you had to do a tiny little thing for both of the villages, uh, just a little minor thing, uh, just, uh, you know. Slay a dragon. And uh, yeah, so now that's where we're wrapping thing. That's where we wrapped up that session. Um, dinner sort of wrapped up. You guys had a lovely, you are able to complete your long rest. Uh, was there anything you guys wanted to go over during the evening hours that you would have done before the next day? Um, I don't think so. Not for me. Yes. What would you like to do? Revive Amity. <laughs> You're like, I would like Amity to be back, please. <laughs> And so, and so you shall. Uh, you spend the evening uh, working on Amity and get her back into working order. Back to full health, baby. He, let's go. Let's go. The Mets, baby. The Mets. All right. So you went ahead and did that. Oh, yeah. And uh, along the evening, you've discovered that Pinchy is also missing. So that's fun. <laughs> <sighs> Alarming. <laughs> Slightly alarming. Uh, but it is now the morning. Give me one second. A um, long rest button. I'm sorry, yes, you all may press the long rest button. I press. You may all commence with your long rest. Uh, you are once again treated uh, to a free meal while you're here at the village. You guys stay in the longhouse, which kind of in one of the guest longhouses, which is sort of this open up area that kind of opens up towards the uh, the coast of the beach, kind of letting the sea breeze in while you all rest. Uh, it is uh, oddly quiet uh, with the sound of nature sort of humming through the area uh, since most of you, if not all of you, are kind of used to the hustling, bustling life uh, city life uh, that you all have been kind of like slumbering in for, I would say, a majority of the campaign. Uh, but yes, it is now seven in the morning. You awaken. You have your breakfast. Um, you are given instructions of exactly where the Azure Bellius Dragon um, or the Bellius Azure Dragon, excuse me, uh, nests. And the Elder would also inform you that there are supplies here within the town. Um, that even though they are their own society, uh, they do accept credits as a form of payment. So, uh, if we zoom out, uh, real, real quick, if there is some purchasing you'd like to do, uh, of course we have, uh, Bill the Blacksmith over here for any sort of armor, uh, that you may be looking for, weapons and armor. And then finally, we have uh, Sam Mov, who is the village alchemist. Uh, she'd be willing to sell you potions uh, if that is what you're looking for. If you do not need supplies, you are free to leave. Otherwise, the stage is yours. I, I have no money. Fancy to go. Yeah. Also, do not have cash. So <laughs> also have no money. What happened to oh all your money? Oh my god! You have no money. I spent all my money on uh -oh. Legend Lore. <laughs> hey, there it is. Yeah, no, oh, I see it. No. That's awesome. Might be Wait, time. so we're all poor? <laughs> yes. It's fine. We're paying for things with favors, like killing a dragon. <laughs> uh -oh. I have like 500 credits. You have uh -oh. 820 credits. Look oh. at this man. 
Wow. Just trying to find mine, but I don't see them. Oh, yes. Yours uh, would be in the credit ship, which is in your loot section. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got 1,600. Wow. Okay. Well, you know. Buddy. <laughs> Bounty hey, but... hunting does well for you. Buddy. Hey. Hey. Buddy. How are we doing on potions? I was just looking. Um, I got one baby you... one. Yeah, I used one on... Uh... Uh, snake last time have an antidote of healing, a potion of greater healing, and a regular potion of healing. So I have three. I Do have we a know? supreme and two graders. Do we know what kind of dragon this is? Uh, no. Azure Hold dragon. Up. It's known. Oh, no. It's known as the Azure Dragon. A. Uh, and B, uh, just s some above board information for you. Uh, this is a unique dragon uh, outside of D&D. So okay. you don't know anything about this in and out of game. Um, the likelihood is with the dragon, it's going to have a, a some sort of damage type, though. So if we want to mm. play guesstimate, and if we can try and make a potion of like resistance to it, but it is... Lucky dip. There's, yeah, there's so many things. It could be is the problem. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um. Uh. Well, uh, in the in the thing that Brett wrote up for us, any crafting that we do inside of the dungeon, we don't need to roll for, correct? We just we well, just any do it. any crafting period. So we've changed the crafting rules because I'm a psycho. Uh, the <laughs> you no longer need there's um, you no longer do crafting checks. So as long as you are proficient with the tool, you craft the item. Uh, the only okay. the, the only thing is you just have to have uh, either credits or materials uh, that can be used in said crafting. Would I have time to make some potions this morning for us then? Uh, yes, you would. Uh, let me see what you got in your. Let's see spell components, miscellaneous gatherings. Under my crafting materials, there it is. It is. I still yes. have a bunch of herbs. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, all of these uh, herbs can be. You can use your the full market value of these herbs to create potions. Uh, so the Penketh Cassia, the various herbs and the Azure Bloom, each of which can be used to make uh, some potions. I think I've already used the Azure Blooms. I just don't think we deleted it. And then I shall remove it now. Here's here's an idea. Excuse me. Please. The people here have been fighting this thing, or at least have known about it for a while. Why don't we just ask them? Yeah, Bro. I was wondering if there's any information that we could get talking yeah. to people about the dragon before we go well uh, well i see you're all getting ready to go is there anything else that i can assist you before your journey uh i guess we were just wondering if um there's anything else you can tell us about this dragon if there's any information that could help us unfortunately little is known about the dragon um there are a couple of things that may be able to assist you um, from my understanding, the dragon itself has a uh, rather uh, noxious ability to spew um, a sort of acidic substance that seems to linger upon the battlefield. Uh, in addition to that, uh, wherever the Azure Dragon goes, more often than not, um, a storm is soon to follow. Perhaps the dragon has some affinity to lightning. Mm. Besides that, it is a is it is absolutely a physical force that is able to tear apart even our most competent mercenaries um, rather easily uh, with its with with its claws and fangs. The creature itself is uh, of uh, of a massive size. Okay. And, I'm and I'm afraid that's all the information I have. I I hope it's helpful. Dash will look at the much smarter people in the group. Does <laughs> that help? Is there anything that we can do to like prepare for a dragon that spews acid and then causes storms? A piper, probably from Dash's back because he's just being cuddly today. Uh, is it, oh, is it piper time? Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. You tell him more. <laughs> it can be either of them right now. 
Okay. He just yeah. goes, yeah. <clears throat> I just got to roll a d20 for my Attune with the Stars feature. Let's do it. Oh, that's good. Nice. It's Ooh. Yeah, the, the roll is always good. Yeah. No matter what you uh, roll, it's a good roll. Um, maybe I'll visit the blacksmith and be like, uh, well, mate, you got any, uh, you got any nice great axes or great swords, anything big? Yeah, I could probably get you some axes. Like a better one than mine, though. Let me see it. I hand him over my, I think I've just got a basic great axe. <laughs> so you're looking for a new great axe or do you want me to improve this one? I mean, can you improve it? I can. It depends. Do you have credit? I do, mate, yeah. Very well. Give me a few hours and I could probably get this good for you. Price is going to be 400 credits. I'll pay it. Sure. Gorgeous. I love it. You're now down to 1,250 credits. Oh, uh, no, I'm poor. After... <laughs> Shut the f shut up. Uh, <laughs> after, okay. uh, Thanks, Joe. <laughs> uh, af after two hours of crafting, uh, your great axe will become a plus one great axe. This, in this improves your attack bonus by one, and you deal an additional one point of damage. Also, your axe is now considered magical. Uh, could I um? Could I pass him across? unprocessed metal to see if I can get a trade down. I've got like 55 pounds of unprocessed metals worth uh, 135 credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's he, he'll look over at it and he's like, yeah, I could buy this off of you. You know what? Yeah, you want to buy the whole lot? Mm-hmm. I can do that. Not I'll keep that, but you can have the, uh, the unprocessed metal. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, buy this for uh, 67 credits. No, it's worth like double that, mate. Mm -hmm. This is offshore, high premium, highly smuggled, unprocessed metal. Don't ask me what metal it is, because not even the greatest metallurgy will be able to tell you. You said it was smuggled? Yeah. So it's dirty metal? Well, it's not dirty, mate, because the smugglers are dead, and anyone involved in it is dead. It's clean. Okay, that works for me. Yeah. Go ahead and make so a persuasion about... check. Okay. <laughs> Minus one of these. Yeah. Uh, I could give you 70 credits for it. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, man, no, I can't carry around numbers as well. My whole life, man. I love wow. that. It's like half the price. <laughs> That's what it is. So um, materials that you gather uh, can be sold for either half, the pr uh, half their market value. Mm -hmm. Or they can be used in crafting projects for their full market value. Yeah, I'll save the adamantine for that. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, maybe I'll look at him and say, uh, you see this armor I'm wearing, mate? Do you reckon you could align the uh, adamantine I got it into the armor? Hmm, it kind of... Does that take too long? Scratches his chin. Oh, it would take a bit of time. Let me see that armor. You're wearing a half plate, right? Yep, half plate. Oh, boy. It's gonna cost you. How much uh, did that cost me? Uh, one second. Let me actually look real quick. Okay. Oh, that's not so bad. Um, he he'll say. You mentioned you got the material, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got four pounds of it right here. Four hundred credits worth, I would say. Oh, let me see. Show him the four pounds of adamant. Yeah, he'll inspect the ingot, kind of looking around a little bit and kind of. Mm. Give me a few, few, a couple more hours with the armor. I'll pay Let a me speak to the group because five I'll, hours is a long time. I'll charge a service fee of 50 credits. And yeah, I can go and inline that armor with the adamantium. Or the adamantine. Whatever the fuck it's called. Okay, I'll get one second, mate. I pop out and I look at the group. Do we have five hours? Or a few hours? hours. A few hours. You've already spent yeah. two hours getting the axe done. And then it'll be two more hours to get this done. Yeah, so overall four hours. Is that too much? I think we really need to get going, buddy. All right, tell you what, mate. Have you got a half plate I could borrow? Right? 
to go and do this mission. When I come back, I can slip this one on. That you can borrow. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a win-win scenario for you because if I die out there, you've lost one used pair of half plate and you get this one that you can sell on. Hmm, oh, I see what you're saying. Hmm, <laughs> he thinks to himself. <laughs> He'll look at your, your plate. Let me see the quality. All right. <laughs> I had her. I, I undressed fully in front of him, and I had yeah. it on the thing. He stares. He doesn't blink. All right. He looks at it. He winces a little bit. One second. We're just ringing up in here. Come on, man. <laughs> Your armor reeks, man. You know what? I'm gonna take the armor back on supper van. I'll just take the axe. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep clipping on. I'll take the axe. I'll, I'll take my no, no, we, no, we got, no, no, we got no, mate. We got a guy. We got. Sorry. The axe is done, though. Yeah. Look, yes, the axe is done, but listen, if you want, uh, we can go and do the exchange, but I want to hold on to 200 of your credits. You'll get it back if you return with the armor in pristine condition. Only another door. Guys, we coming back here. <laughs> We yeah. gotta tell them that we killed the fucking dragon. We're killing All the right. dragon for them, dude. <laughs> I put two hundred credits on there. I take off my clothing. Out. All right, your deposit's there, mate. Oh, right. we'll count it when I get back. Yeah, and you, uh, you want so you want me to work on this half plate? Yeah, if you could, if you could put Leave the out of man, yeah, man of man time. That'll be another fifty credits. All right. So two fifty deposit, but two fifty of it you keep it. Correct. I know. <laughs> God. Uh, hold on, I have to do math because I can't think today. All right, so you're at 1,070 credits. Uh, cool, awesome. Uh, so yeah, just remind me uh, that that's, this huh? is what we did and it'll be good. All right, have a good one. Yeah, well, I'm like, good you later. Yeah. Pick up the axe and I'll take it out. All right. During those two hours, is there anything else the party would be doing? Potions. Uh, potions, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> would you be purchasing potions or making potions? I'd like to try to make them if I can. Oh, you don't have to try. You just do. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Halibor, you are familiar with how to make uh, potions of healing. Uh, yes. And because of your level, you are familiar with how to make potions of greater healing. Oh, my goodness. So the way this is done, uh, you are proficient with al uh, alchemy tools, correct? Uh, your alchemy supplies, you're proficient yes. with that? Excellent. Uh, so the way this works is you use the full market value of the crafting material uh, into the potion price itself. Uh, and that is sort of the material component. So uh, for every 50, and you can also use your existing credits, which I know you don't have it. So um, you can use the Prealor Trout, uh, the Penketh Cassia, and the various herbs to go ahead and create potions. Uh, potions of healing cost uh, 50 credits, and potions of greater healing cost 200 credits. What would you okay. like to make? Uh, what if I wanted to make potions of resistance? Are those out of my wheelhouse? Uh, no, they wouldn't be. I, I, I would absolutely love, uh, now that you're, you're level nine, right? Yes. Give me a second. Uh, no, they would not be out of your wheelhouse. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely want to prioritize uh, potions of acid resistance and lightning resistance. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, those would cost... Uh... Oh, perfect. Uh, yes, yeah, so that would... Um... So the first question I would ask is, have you taken acid damage before? I've taken radiation. I don't know about acid. I would, uh, if you've taken radiation, then you are familiar with acid and poison. Have you okay. taken lightning damage before? I don't believe so. Okay. Because you have not taken lightning damage before, you are not familiar with how to craft lightning potions, but you would be familiar with how to craft acid potions or specifically oh. potions of acid resistance. Uh, those yeah. are Those are also valued at 200 credits. Okay, I'm probably going to dip into the various herbs and make 
four of those then. Potions of acid resistance? Yes. All right. Uh, you will successfully make four potions. But uh, potions are really quick to make. So a bundle like this with a bunch of uncommon potions, easy peasy, can easily be done within the two hours. So uh, let me check real quick. Let me check real quick. Do, do, do. Let me check real quick. Do, do, do. All right. You successfully created. Where'd I put it? There it is. Four potions of acid resistance. E. And then I would hand one out to everybody except for me. So everybody else gets one except for me. Mm, understood. Let me go ahead and get this real quick. Uh, boop. And... Boop. All there right. There you go, guys. Everyone Thank gains you. one potion of acid resistance. What else would you like oh to make? Oh, my God. Um, how is everybody on healing potions? I just want a potion check. I type one baby. You have one baby? There you go. I'll type in the chat so you can. <laughs> one potion uh, of healing, he says out loud. Oh, one potion of healing. We don't <laughs> sell those. We don't sell those. Oh, right. Sorry, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing mine. Sorry. No, you're I, good. Uh, yes. Looking at my potions, I have one potion of healing. I also have a potion. Of, wait, no, you just gave me that. Never mind. I thought I had a... Um, Something that I do not have, but just received. Never mind. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me look at my crafting materials again. Uh, I don't have enough for a grader. Grader's two hundred. Yes, I. You can don't also have. use credits uh, to purchase the materials to buy it to make the potion. I'm fucking broke. You could always um, bag your party members. A hellebore always pays their debts. Yeah, and I don't want, that's why I don't want to. They don't pay okay. their debts at all. That's a lie. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so you don't have any, Eli? Eli has two potions of healing. Okay. Um, I'm going to give Buddy a grader because I it looks like that I have three graders but one's listed differently uh yeah it's weird hold up uh one second okay okay you're gonna get you so you said you're gonna give uh one to buddy is there anything else you're gonna give I'm gonna give one to buddy and then I'm gonna give buddy a long strider understood oh it's a healing long strider so you get 10 extra feet for an hour <laughs> Once you take that one. Excuse me. That's very And good. then I'm going to give a greater to Eli. Hey, thanks. And then that leaves me with one greater, one regular, and one long strider. So I'll be okay. Fuck. Oh. Here we go. Potions distributed. Next time I sit down to make potions, I'm probably going to make a lot of healing. Nodders. All right, that's it for potions for me. Now it works. That's how crafting now works. It's nice and, and simple. The entire system is in the gathering of materials now. That's where, where you start getting your your money, your treasure hunting, all that shit. Let's fucking go! Not <clears throat> Um. Yes. I'm so sorry. I forgot that I wanted to do this, but if you'll let me, since we're still here. Of course. <clears throat> While everybody's doing stuff this morning, I wanted to see if I could make if I if I could fish something up to make us breakfast and do a, a restful cooking. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and uh, head on out to the to the to the beach. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You better Phew. move your token. You tumble down. You roll down the hill. Whee! I roll down the hill. I'm sad because Logan's not there. I stare Aww. wistfully at the water and then I fish. <laughs> All right, you're just doing normal fishing, right? Yeah, just normal fishing. Just normal steel fishing. All right, let's uh, go ahead and roll a 1d100 for me. 
Let's see if you catch any fish during these two hours. Ooh, fuck. Oh, give me a second. <laughs> oh wait, that's oh wait, that's a nineteen. <laughs> a nineteen, mind. yeah, no, <laughs> like, not a, not a ninety-one. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh no, it's nineteen out of a hundred. Yeah, you don't catch anything the first hour. Go ahead and uh, give me another D one hundred. Come on, man. Oh, I don't. Uh, hmm, uh, let me check the table. <laughs> okay, hey, that's not bad. Eh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, go ahead. You, you get something on the line. Go ahead and give okay. me a survival check, please. Okay. Come on, man. A 16? Success! Uh, you managed to get yourself a bellious bias. Sick. I cook it. You do a little cook, a little scramble. Yeah, I want to I want to do the the restful meal so everyone has more hit die to use in the dungeon. I and love it. Nice. You have 50% more hit die to spend during short rests. Very good. So all of you now have uh, 13 hit dice to spend. Well, I want more food. How many hit mm. dice? 13 hit dice to spend for healing. Oh, dang, uh, nice. I didn't catch anything else, sorry. Okay, I eat jerky. Climbs um. back on the dashes back. <laughs> That's his tummy. <laughs> You need more food. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> uh, Hellebore, what did you eat last night to, uh... Wait, did you... Yeah, you, you definitely used... Yeah, you did. I uh, ate the meal. You uh, ate the, the meal. Big, the uh -huh. big feast, yeah. Okay, so that, that, that's gonna be, uh... That's gonna be one. Uh, I'm gonna need five more rations for you to consume. Would they not give me enough food? It was only enough for <laughs> everyone, not just you. <laughs> oh no! Mm. Could I have asked Dash to cook the fish I have? Cook fish? Yes, you could ask. Uh, <laughs> where, where I cooked it for him. They had a little. They had a little date yeah, last night. Yeah, we'll a little beach date, date and fish. he made him fish. The prealor trout. How were you preserving it? Probably, <laughs> probably, honestly, probably use the one spell he has, which. <laughs> preserves life. What's the name it, of the fucking spell? I forget. The He's second to make jerky gentle repose. Wild. I've been gentle repose ritual the fish. That's how I've been <laughs> preserving it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're only going to eat four rations. Is that okay? Yeah. All it's right. You're down to eight rations. He's so hungry. Keep in mind, you need six of these to, uh, actually, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you need three rations a day to keep yourself, uh, keep your tummy full. So you're looking at, let me, let me. I only one today. Or I only used up one. Yeah, yeah. So give me a second. Okay. Okay, there it is. All right, so I'm putting you down to, to half rations, so it's a lot easier to, to balance. Okay. Uh, nope, that's not it at all. Okay, there it is. All right, so you're at 22 half rations. Uh, what did you eat? You ate, you ate, ate some fish. That's great. Uh, yeah. you still need to consume five more half rations. Buddy! To, to fulfill your daily nutrition. Yeah. Did I borrow somebody to buy rations? You have 22 half rations, you little gremlin. Okay, never mind. I eat my rations. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I'm starving. I'm out of money anyway. <laughs> Baby, you need to catch more fish. I'm hungry all the time. That fish last night was good, though. Thank you for cooking for me. You're oh, welcome. Eat dragon it, was, it was a cute day last night. Thank you, Smooch's boyfriend. <laughs> Smooch is back, but is is stressed because his boyfriend is starving. <laughs> that's, that's, his little, that's his lifestyle all the time. <laughs> yeah. First he was hungry. dead, and now he's starving. Yep. So what do I do? I'm not craving brains, at least. I'm just saying that if I'm piggybacking on you, you and you feel me gnawing before? on your shoulder, it's because I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> Dash don't got those smile how could you say that <laughs> god <laughs> no no brett's the vibes today that's why god 
<laughs> what, for speaking the truth? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have enough My brains boy. for... Listen, P Piper and Hellboar have enough brains for both of them. It's fine. Hold his up. head's empty, but his heart is huge, what's okay? Your, what's, your, what's your intelligence again, Dash? Mine? Oh. Yep. Uh... I'm pretty sure it was my dump stat. It was that your dump stat? <laughs> Wait a sec. <laughs> that shit was your dump stat. Um, my int is eight. That sounds like a dump stat to me. Yeah. Okay, I have enough. I have enough brain for both of us. It's like strength was my dump stat. You're strong enough for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're not giving piggybacks. That's that's sweet. <laughs> There's something sweet about that, you know. I'll find it. It's somewhere over there. All right. Uh, so, uh, weapons upgraded, potions created. Uh, you are also able to buy some potions here if you'd like, but ultimately, it's up to you. What would you like to do? Um, I have one thing that I'd like to do before we head out. Yes. Isla would go around to each of the party members and just check on everyone. And, uh, you know, age of leaders, everyone gets 15 temp HP. Yeah! Yum, yum, yeah. yum, yum, yum. So put that temp HP somewhere. Uh, put, yeah. yeah, put it in the temp square underneath your hit points when you want to... When you, we say somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get HP from, from you, Dash? Um, I th I think it ju I think it just gave the the double hit dice. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, <clears> instead, <throat> of, instead of nine yeah, hit with, dice with the dungeon rules, it should be really good. I think. Yeah. So instead of nine hit dice, you now have thirteen hit dice to spend for healing. Very powerful stuff. It's really good. All right. In the vein All right. Of, um, Ish. Your hit points, mine are incorrect. Your what do you, what's what's incorrect? My hit points are incorrect. They should be one seventeen. And currently, it's at ninety nine. It's not accounting for toughness for some reason. Oh, oh. maybe that, there we go. My so. hit points are one seventeen. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. You're tough. Tough yeah. is gonna boost up my life. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Eli technically has a D ten like you with toughness. What a strong man. Yeah. Eli and uh, Dash are both at the same hit points. I remember when I had 40 HP for a dungeon. Mm -hmm. And now look at you. Glass. <laughs> I'm at 72 now. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have more HP than me? Yeah. We, sh we should have the same. I'm pretty sure. Well, let's I feel like we've had this conversation before. Let's uh, Let's check. Because you have a D6, but you have a con mod of two, so it's eight per level. Wrong. Isla has a con mod of one. I thought you had two. Oh, thumbs up. <laughs> Isla's, Isla is also a D6. I'm fragile. You both have the same hit die, but Hellebore has a 14 in con, and Isla has a 13. And that Bonjour. just and that hit points every level just gets more and more distinct. <laughs> I'm so fragile. <laughs> I'm melee and I'm fragile. At least you have like ranged punches though. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. have to be exactly in melee. Alright. I've also uh, prepared new spells for the day. Oh, in um in uh, D D Beyond. One moment, please. Uh, let's see. And so I shall import your spells. If it's easier for you, you could also prepare them in Foundry itself. But I will leave that yeah, to you. I'll do that next time. Yeah, I wasn't sure if there was a better way to do it. Yeah, so if you want to do that, um, go into Compendium Packets, which is the book with little at symbol in it. Uh, go down to uh, select the D&D Beyond folder and then head over to DDB spells and that should have all the spells from D&D Beyond. And then you can just drag and drop. Got and and prepare. You. You're welcome. Oh, and as a heads up for you, I am not using my fifth level to re-up all of my boys. I'm just going with Pat today. Oh, it's Pat Day today. All right. Yes, I want to, because we're fighting a fucking dragon, I want as many fifth level slots as I can. Smart. Yeah, smart. Smart, smart, smart. 
As many fifth level spells as I one. As many fifth level spells as I can. Well, I can short rest and get it back. That's what I'm saying. If I if I raise my boys today, I'd have to short rest immediately to get it back, and then I only get the one. Yeah. Haha, uh -huh. yeah. Alright. With that being said, uh anything else you guys like to do? Mm, that's all I can think of. All right, let me gather you around so you can begin your journey. These are the six, is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. We're like a full party if you include all of our minions. Oh yeah, you got Pat out too. Let me go and get, let me, let me pull Pat out from the grave. Patterson. We love Pat. We love him. That's my baby boy. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds like you guys are heading out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Nine in the morning. Okay. Let me just real quick. Uh, <laughs> map time. Okay. Yep. I hope Pinchy doesn't eat Logan out in the wild or something. Very good. Or, you know. Eats a poisonous bug or something. All right, you have been informed that the nest that the uh, the Azure Dragon uh, tends to return to and, and hibernate a little bit is over to the north uh, northwest. So you shall begin your travel. Here we go. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna make a private roll to see if there are any encounters on the road. Shame, an uneventful day. Wow, what a shame. Okay. Oh no, that's oh, too bad. No. Okay, and after four hours of travel, you arrive over to the site. <clears throat> I gotta load everything. Oh, baby, do I have to get off your back now? Uh, yeah, probably. I don't want to be, you know, in the combat, but it's, I don't like walking. You're going to have to walk, I think. Shit. Dro drops boyfriend. Gently. <laughs> gently, ever so gently. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, here we are. That's the jam. All right, uh, you guys arrived to the outside of a rather sizable large cavern. As you approach the entrance to the cave, you see that someone has made uh, seems to have made residence right outside. A windmill is moving uh, at a slope uh, at a nice pace, uh, keeping up with the wind. And this uh, seems to be a water filtration system. You also see a little bit of shard tech lit around the house, suggesting that the house is not, that this uh, adobe abode abode is uh not abandoned the stage is yours what the fuck is this is this a giant statue uh yeah it's a it's a giant statue which seems to have um over in its center you kind of oh, let me actually draw this out real quick because i forgot to draw it out whoops obviously the island itself is ancient and old uh suggesting that it's you know have definitely have had other things before. Mm. The shard tech, that's... Did the, did the village we just came from have a lot of shard tech? It had some shard tech, yeah. 
Okay, so it's not uncommon to see it on it's this not, building. Yeah, Correct. I was that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 okay. definitely it's definitely around. It's just not as advanced as like actual like city tech and things like that. Okay. So th this like water filtration unit wouldn't be in this. That's correct. Okay. How close are we to the cave at this point? Uh, you are. Let me pull out a ruler. Uh, that close. <laughs> oh, they didn't say anything about somebody literally living here. Yeah, remember to stab bushes. Uh, she did talk about her cousin like having a pact with the dragon. I don't know. Maybe this is her. Maybe. Should we check? I want to look at big statue of my son. Ah. Hold on, I see someone in there. Ah, looking Please. into the window, you see a young woman who seems to be writing within her book. Someone's at her house, so uh, don't dilly daddle too much. Uh, Hellebore, you will notice that the uh, this seems to be filled with some strange blue glowing liquid. It seems volatile. Oh. Could I do some sort of history check to see like what this figure is supposed to be representing? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and make a uh, history check. Okay. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Oh. Mm. Uh, the entity seems to be long forgotten, but the statue suggests uh, something of religious reverence. Um, the way this is held, it perhaps could have been uh, a gathering of rainwater that could have been tapped into from the bowl itself. Oh, but it seems volatile. Uh, that is correct. There is definitely not rainwater in what it, inside uh, inside the bowl of this statue. Oh, Pat, look. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you all continue to look up, uh, for those that are looking the window, you'll see the woman look out the window to see you all. She has a sort of uh, bemused look upon her face before she gets up, opens the door. <laughs> yes, can I help you? Who are you? <laughs> I don't look straight, I look. <laughs> <laughs> I just like looks back and is like, why me? <laughs> God, trust worthy uh, face. Hello. Do you uh, speak ca oh, yes. Yes, hello. <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. we were just uh, unsure about, you know, that we weren't expecting to see someone living here. Well, this is my home. So I get to ask the question, what are you doing here? Uh, we're here on business from uh, what's what's the town name player asks what's the town name aquarian aquarian, aquarian. yeah oh, we're yeah. here on business from aquarian <laughs> you're here from business from aquarian huh so i suppose my cousin sent you she oh. i told you <laughs> oh that was fast oh that wasn't terrible <laughs> <laughs> what does Dash say? Well, you're rolling deception. I need to know what you said. He's not saying anything. He just never has a poker face. So I'm just rolling to see how bad it was. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your cousin? This isn't 20 questions. You're outside my house. You said you came from Aquarian. I'm assuming yeah, you came. Did. Yeah, I'm assuming you, you came from my cousin. So you should have, you should know the answer to that. Well, I think I do. Yeah, the chief. She she looks hey, over. Honcho. She looks over at you and she says, mm, "Correct." Right. You're the cousin that ran off to go and join a dragon cult, is that right? <laughs> I didn't join a dragon cult. She smiles to herself mischievously. I merely formed one. Oh, you formed it. Why'd you do that? <laughs> she shakes her head. She goes, this isn't an interrogation about me. All right, Furball, who are you and what are you doing here? We don't like cults. So you're here to slay me? No, no. I want to know what the water is. That's why I'm here. Oh, it's so sparkly, Pat. Well, no, that's a second. We're here to bring you home and deal with the dragon because it's dangerous to your island. She, she goes, oh, okay. 
And then she does like a really dramatic, like thinking pose, like, hmm. And then she looks at you and says, uh, pass. Why are you teaming up with the dragon? Because that dragon is very powerful and can destroy anything that we have. So you're doing it out of fear. You're thinking, look, let's join up with the dragon so that it doesn't kill us all. I'm, I'm not afraid of nature. So nature takes its, it takes its course all the time. Unfortunately, we are just on sort of the middle rung of the of, of the food pyramid right now, the food ladder right now. We're not the, the head honchos that get to move around and, and eat and do everything that we can please right there. We're just sort of on the middle. That dragon is on the top. And yes, while it's always a shame, uh, whenever there is a loss of life, uh, that dragon has every right to be here as we do. I, I get, I, no, I do get your philosophy, but the thing is, your cousin is worried that dragon is going to hurt a lot of people. If we deal with the dragon, you're at the top of the food chain. Now, I get it. That might not be the most environmentally pleasurable answer. However, it is the safest for people. We can deal with the dragon. That's fine. She shakes her head and she says a, a little friendly advice. Uh, first of all, that's very acidic in that bowl. I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> uh, second of all, no, you can't. Yes, we can. Uh, I, I'm telling you, you can't. Yes, we can. What makes you sure? Because I know that dragon. That dragon has, and she kind of like holds up her hand and you kind of watch as these sparks kind of begin to form. Uh, and you just see this volatile spark ball there. It says that dragon has an awesome amount of power before she kind of like clasps her fists. fists and when she does, the sparks sort of just dissipate a little bit and you hear the, the crashing sound of thunder. If we're all able to successfully ally with the dragon, Euro the European Authority wouldn't be able to take over this island. And it we wouldn't have to worry gave about you magic. Oh, but of course. The dragon is, is is an is an awesome source of power. What did you give to it? My loyalty, I suppose. Which infers what? Sacrifices, that sort of thing? Uh, no, nothing so barbaric. And then she mutters something under her breath. Can I roll a perception check to see if I hear? Yeah, perception? <laughs> yeah, same. Go, go ahead. Yeah, make some perception checks. Boom! <laughs> oh, oh, the wax God, out of my ear. Dude, dude. Wow, <laughs> nice rolls. Yikes, yikes, guys. Uh, What'd you say there? So there's mosquitoes all around it. <laughs> oh my God, guys. We're so distracted. I'm still, I'm still learning what the dragon wants. Well, okay. So you're worried about the authority coming in and taking over your island. That's a fair way I understand, yeah. How well known is your island? I don't know, she says. I don't leave well, the island to find out. You don't get many of the authorities coming this way, do you? No, but we definitely have seen some off the coast. A lot, of, a lot of fishermen scouts report that they've been expanding within the area. Uh, go on, Eli. Back up a spell. You said you you were granted power by this dragon. <laughs> Make an inside check. As she goes, yes. You don't see anything suspicious with that. And in return, you gave your loyalty. Well, yes, of course. So that I may study the dragon further. And that is somehow important to a dragon. Well, yeah, I would, I would imagine so. I mean, I'm able to hunt for it, provide it food. If it ever decides to, to lay some eggs and have some offspring, it wouldn't be able to actually leave the cavern so well. <gasps> dragon babies? I... Mm. If that well, were the case, it would have needed help a long time ago. 
Well, yes, it had to do what it had to do. But now I'm able to provide uh, convenience for the dragon. So how, how long has this dragon been on the island for? Uh, been a while, I'd imagine. It knows it. It's been it's been here for so long. So uh, it, longer than me. It, was it dealing with any of you guys beforehand? Like, did it used to hunt you? Did it used to attack or anything like that? Oh, nothing like that. I mean, the track in itself is territorial, sure, but I mean, it's not exactly the most, uh, you know, stealthy of creatures. Uh, so we were always able to avoid it. I'm just trying to play a little more active role. So, let me get this straight. You have a viewpoint that we are the middle rung of this uh food chain and the dragon's at the top correct i mean yeah absolutely it eats everything so if we were to go and challenge the dragon and defeat it with our own power you wouldn't have an issue with that well that's impossible assuming the impossible becomes possible i'm not asking you to believe in our power i'm just saying if it does happen then you wouldn't have any complaints, correct? I mean... Because we would have proven ourselves at that point. I mean, I suppose. If you can actually beat a dragon, then, uh... You know, maybe it's not the strongest thing we have to offer. But that Excellent. is... That is entirely doubtful. Where are you going? She says... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Are we on the wrong side here? This dragon has not really done much to them. Lived here longer than most of them. And now we're gonna kill it. Ah, see, now you're now you're seeing where I'm coming from. Hey, forgive How sentient me. is this dragon? Can it speak? Why does that matter? She says, looking at you. Because if the issue is that it's here, then if it can speak, we can offer a challenge. Like I said, it doesn't matter if we kill it or if we chase it away. What matters is if it's gone. Well, any of you knowledgeable of dead languages? No. AKA Draconic is a dead language, so it's like studying Latin. Are you? I mean, I'm better than most. <clears throat> and like that. <laughs> Go if for that's it. So. Go for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, You're no, talking she's to a dragon. She's she's <laughs> Yeah, she's uh, kind of, she's kind of her own hype man is the best way to describe sure, it. Sure, yeah, okay. <laughs> Look, I've been studying. I'm getting better every day. Okay. Then you should be able to communicate some simple ideas, correct? Simple enough for it to get the general gist. Oh, you want me to talk to the dragon for you? I mean, you're the one with the connection to it. No, I don't think I need to do that. Also, I don't know who you are. I don't know who any of you are. Yeah. All right, then. This conversation is over. <laughs> she look, she'll just look over at you and kind of give a little shrug and say, Look, I've given you all the warnings that I can. This cave is the nest of a very powerful and awesome dragon. If you go inside, you do it at your own peril. I'm not going to try and stop you from killing yourself. Yeah. And if we do defeat the dragon, you have nothing to defend your own. Surely a starship could kill a dragon. <laughs> she looks over at you and she's like, I'd, I would love to see that. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was very young. A uh, European Authority scout ship was floating over the island. It just happened to get into the path of the dragon. That dragon swatted it right out of the sky, and I watched that thing crash at the side of the mountain. Yeah, a ship cannot do anything against this thing. Okay, yeah, but that, that scout ship didn't have a pilot like me. <laughs> but in this regard... Crew, are we... Look, are we fucking up here? I mean, we've just been given a task to get what we need. Yeah, but what if we do this and they are defenseless? We kill an, 
an animal that is incredibly rare. Leave this island defenseless, and then the authority come in. I mean, to be fair, it's not as if this thing is allied with them now. This woman defected. It, it will be allied with us. I mean, it is. It is allied with us. You sound sure. Insight. <laughs> Insight, bitch, punches her in oh the my face. my god, a 27. <laughs> god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, she uh, she caught herself in a, in a whoopsie and tried to fix it. <laughs> she just stares at her, like, just this flat expression. Hey, I'm making progress, okay? If I would stop being interrupted all the time. I'm sure you're very interrupted out here in the wilderness. Um, look. Well, I'm interrupted now, she says, like, leaning over to Isla. The ten minutes we've been here? I so was studying! Progress. I was studying in there, okay? And now I have to try and warn your stupid butt not to get into the cave because there's a dragon in there. Is okay. it a draconic language book that you're studying? I have given all the warnings I can. You're, you know what? I, uh, I clean myself of you. And she kind of like just brushes her hands off. And she says, if you want to go in there and die, fine. I've given you all the warning you can. I can. Look, if you're trying to make progress winning the affections of this dragon, maybe we can help. I'm listening. <laughs> what exactly have you tried so far? What are you working on? Uh, that's uh, very... Uh, uh, hmm. I'm, I, you know, I don't feel comfortable sharing that with outsiders. Again, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from. You might be with the European Authority itself, in which case you might be my enemy. And in that case, yeah, go into the cave and just let the dragon eat you. That's fine with me, you know? Your cousin uh, sent us. She's worried about you. Well, I mean, Farrah's always worried about stuff, you know, and it's things she doesn't understand that are outside her little bubble she doesn't get, okay? It sounds like you don't get it either. I Well, I'm making an effort to try and get it. That's better than anyone else is doing. I made some they're, progress. They're making an effort to survive. Well, that is probably not going to be enough one day you know we haven't really made much progress in my entire life we should be technologically at least to the level of the authority or at least approaching it we've been using the same outdated tech for for 25 years now how'd you get this thing here anyway Eli will gesture to the water purification system no well, well i mean i you know, i mean i got some of the parts and you know, brought it on, you know, a horseback and you built it. So what? We all know how to Inside. handle this tech. Yeah. All right. Nothing suspicious there. And the, the, the hut. Built it. Hmm. It's just, this is where the dragon nests. It seemed to be a best way to study it. It hasn't killed her. That's because uh, I believe it knows that I'm friendly. Yeah. Can I borrow your study material? No. <laughs> she just says, she looks over at you. Why? Because I don't know who you are. This conversation's oh. going nowhere. No, look, lady, look. <sighs> This is not us coming as like a diplomatic mission. We are actively coming here to kill a dragon. If we start getting on from the wrong foot, we're going to get the bad information here. We're going to go inside, kill your dragon, then you're going to wish that you actually spoke to us. Just give us the bloody information. I gave, awesome. I gave you the information. There is a dangerous and deadly creature within that cave. If you go in to try and kill it, it will kill you. Right. Okay. Your people, your former people, I suppose, they want this thing gone, or at the very least, they want it to no longer be a threat. You can help with that. You say you've been trying, but you refuse to help us now. Because you guys want to kill it. I 
want to tap into its powers and learn about it so that we could better defend ourselves with old magic instead of outdated technology. What? The bounty was placed on this thing because it is a threat. If you can somehow convince us that it's not a threat or point us in the right direction to maybe form in some sort of alliance like you have, mm. it doesn't have to die. Okay. All right. So you're interested in, in joining my uh, my little group, huh? Didn't say that. Oh. If I can learn Draconic, maybe. Well, it's going to take some time to learn. <clears throat> I learned so, very fast. Does it have to grant you the power? Or theoretically, if it was dead, could you somehow? I'm I sure know. in time, once the dragon allies themselves with the Belisian people, that yes, it will give its power willingly. Willingly. Did it give it willingly to you? I'm just borrowing a little uh, bit of it right now, you know, when I was observing it. Could you borrow no? more? Yeah, good question. What'd you say? Does it even know you have this power? I mean, I'm sure it has to know I have this power. But you're not sure that it does. Well, it, these things take time, okay? I, I don't want to have this conversation. This is making me very irritable, okay? I just finished my nap. I want to go back into my hut and just continue studying this my notes. is isn't a diplomatic conversation. We're not here to have a conversation. We, we, we're here to kill the dragon. You don't have a choice in the conversation. It's interrogation, mate. Oh. Now, yeah. Okay. Interrogation. Would we're being polite about it, though. Right. And then she's just going to turn back in, walk in her hut, close the door, and lock it. <laughs> Interrogate <laughs> this! And then she flicks you off. And then she goes <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right there. <laughs> then she goes buddy, buddy. <laughs> you saw it? She did the... That's a universal fuck you sign. <laughs> Every world knows that. Buddy, <laughs> come here. Come on. Okay, so this thing talks, maybe she's somehow, what, stealing power from it? It sounds like it. It sounds like she wants to be an expert on something she doesn't really understand. Not we that have, we understand any of it either, but... Do we have any, uh, I don't know, are there spells to, like, talk to it, or... Let me check my arsenal. Flips through his book. Uh, technically sending could help, but I mean, if I just got the book, I could do my best. To try to, you know... Speak it. Um... If we are to kill this dragon... The only thing we have to think about is, and I know we're doing it for the greater good, we, we, we're going after Daddy Hellebore, but we should think about how to defend these people after we're done. Yeah. Pro no, provide them agree. something. I don't know. Maybe if we can remove their, their location off the maps, if we somehow can hack into that, hide their home away, anything we can do. But the reality is that we got to kill the dragon just because we've got to go out and press that town so they give us the information we need so we can save everyone. Not just a few. So how do we replace the dragon, is what you're saying? We have to work that out afterwards. <laughs> okay. So we just go in there. We do what needs to be done to get our objective done. Because it is the more important one. All right. But if we can talk to it, we should try, right? right? Yeah. I mean, that's what I was asking. And if she would have been willing to interpret or even able, then that would have been... Uh, Ideal. Challenge the dragon, defeat it in combat, it goes away. Somewhere mm -hmm. else, I don't know, but our objective would have been complete. 
Isla, you remember what my hometown was like. It's it's the same mentality. It she doesn't trust people that she doesn't already know. The the community's really small. We already have barriers in place to like try and talk things out with her. Isla sighs and nods. Yeah, yeah. I know. Eli will uh walk over to the water filtration system. Mm -hmm. uh, give it a once over. Is it functioning? Um, yeah, you, you would notice that it, it's functioning. It's able to uh, take uh, falling rainwater um, or other uh, outside water sources, uh, sort of boil it up, and then it dispenses it, uh, right? Uh, it dispenses some uh, down here and keeps the rest over here. Very calmly, Eli will... Uh bend down, set his pack beside him, pull out one of his uh, hammers, and just give the uh, reservoir here a hearty ding. <laughs> okay. And I'll do it again. Louder this time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Welcome back. back. Disassemble <laughs> your water filtration system. Why are you? Why would you do that? We told you, this is an interrogation. Ding. Come on, come have a conversation with us. Okay, she says. Give me just uh. Just one second, okay? Absolutely not. not. Nope. Nope, don't you. <laughs> I'm going to kick will, a door in. Dash will go around to the back <laughs> just to see if there's like a way to get out. Uh, she unlocks, tries to open. Oh, are, you, are you sealing the door? Yeah, I, I'm going to jam myself in that door. And then, so she's looking around, she's seeing whatever, everything's happening here, and then she's going to sigh a little bit. <sighs> Very well. She cracks her necks, her neck around. She holds out her hands. And she says, I'm going to ask you all to leave me alone now, or I'll be forced to defend myself. And then you'll see firsthand what power this dragon gave me. I just want your book. I want to start druid crafting the smell of skunk underneath that door. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just spamming it in there. Uh, what is everyone doing? Watching. Eli is disassembling this valve. Okay. Uh, she holds out her hands as electricity begins to flow around her fingertips. She has now taken an aggressive position. Initiative is rolled. All right. So we will, uh, I do need uh, a brief moment because I did not see it going down like this. Uh, <laughs> and we will be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back, baby. Yeah. Right. Let us Kato. let us begin. All right, so she is holding out her hand. She's crackling out this this energy. She she looks like she is she's ready to strike the first person who is you know in her line of sight. Uh, we will begin uh, with Dr. Hellebore. Hellebore's like, what the fuck? I just wanted some acid, dude. He's gonna go and sit on the ground right here with Pat. That's it. Okay. Uh, what's Pat doing? Uh, he's playing patty cake with Hellebore. Dash. That's just muted. 
I can't actually I can't actually see in the house, so he'll move. Uh, wait. No, how do I how do I move? <laughs> there we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? He's gonna move here and peek inside. What does he see exactly? Uh, he sees her holding out her hands, charging electricity within them. Wait, what is she, is she trying to blow up the house? <sighs> I don't hey, know. We don't, we don't want to fight you. <laughs> Then leave! I mean, we just go. Yeah, should we just leave? Look! Buddy, you're too aggressive! Yeah, we don't need to. Too aggressive. <laughs> I mean, you're trapping her in her house, dude. You're making farts under her door! Do you realize fun. what we're dealing with, everyone? We're about to go and fight a very dangerous being. Yeah, she's, she's made been... it... Look, she's made it really clear that she's not going to help us. We can't really trust what she's saying anyway, because we're pretty sure she's lying about stuff. And then it'll kind of, like, dawn on Dash, and he'll look at everybody else and he'll be like, I can make her tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, that sounds very threatening. I like it. <laughs> I love raises an eyebrow. <laughs> Wait, is that problematic? Should I not do that? No, that's no, fine. The, it's interrogation. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Wait, how far do I have to be to cast this? <clears throat> it's a. <laughs> it's a. It's a fifteen foot thing. So it's huge. Is the only issue. Uh, 15 foot sphere, 15 foot radius sphere. Radius? Wait, that's huge, isn't it? Massive. <laughs> I don't know how big it is, though. <laughs> I like, last time, uh, I made like everybody in the bookstore tell the truth. I don't know, I don't really, <laughs> I don't know if I can just get her. I mean, it's not like you're questioning us. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I have no secrets. Okay. Um, and I also raises an eyebrow at that. <laughs> 60 foot. Here, I'll just click it. How do I make it go to the... How do I make it show up in chat? Uh, you have you have to drop the area first. When you click it, it, it you have to put down the area of effect. Oh goodness, I never cast spells. You know what else, Brett? I'm gonna have to roll on the <laughs> magic table. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Fun. It's been some time. It's been so long. Give me one second. I think I might actually have that table ready to go. Oh my god, it's so large. Okay. No one say anything. Oh, nice. Normal ass spell. It's a normal ass spell. All right, forgot it. So uh, I was doing private rolls. All right, charisma save, correct? Yes. She DC fails. 14, she fails. Nice. Okay, um, try asking her something, buddy. All right, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, What's the dragon's name? <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> That's not helpful. He's yeah, testing it out. He's testing the waters. No, you're <laughs> doing great, buddy. As this sort of area comes in, you see her begin looking around, and then her mouth is open, and then she just goes, and she, she you just watch her lips just close. And she's just charging in the spell. Uh, Dash, uh, is that the end of your round? Um, I, I think so. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do with my turn. 
Uh, be sure to hit end turn on the combat tracker. Oh, the combat tracker didn't even pop up for me. Wait, where is that? Uh, cross Here swords in the turn. upper right. Thank you. Isla. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> what do we want to do? Do we want to just go in there and kill the dragon now, or do we want to, what do we want to do with this girl? I mean, the only reason why we wanted to talk to her is to hopefully, maybe, find some alternate way. If she's not going to talk to us, then what's the point? Alright. I mean, there is a way we can make her talk, but... <laughs> Isla jabs a thumb at her. <laughs> <laughs> Only if she actually talks. Mine would involve less spell casting. A little bit more fear. I don't know that we want to be doing any of that, buddy. What? <sighs> are we getting her book or are we leaving? Looks at Piper. I mean, I'd use it to talk to the dragon or try to, but it's also like I can't learn a whole language when we're going into a fucking dragon cave and take a while. What did you want the book for then? To try to do it, but also, again, we're going into a dragon. I don't know if it's even going to give us the time of day to try to talk to it. Then why are we... Why are we doing this? She gestures broadly. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly if she was holding back information that could keep us alive in there. <sighs> I, mean, I think it's well, safe to assume she probably is. And it comes down to how much you're willing to do to get out of her. And if the answer well, is not more than this. Ass and she doesn't actually know anything. Isla, I need you to take your turn now, please. Oh, sorry. We're just talking. Yep. She's going to start walking away. <laughs> to... Yeah, she's going to come up here and she's going to look back at everyone and then that's it. That's all she's going to do. Buddy. Yeah, he's going to step away and go. All right, we'll deal with the dragon. She leers over at you. Do not zap me on the way out. I will knock you out. <laughs> you scare me, buddy. That's good. <laughs> I'll take the dodge action just in case. <laughs> And she steps here out. Here she, here she comes, dude. <laughs> uh, give me one second, Nina. See. Tries to walk up in front of everyone. Don't do it. And she looks around. And then she, as she sees you moving, she looks over at Eli. And she goes, get away from my water purifier. And then she slams her hands together. And when she does, you watch as these energy wings rupture out of her back. This energy tail sort of electrocutes out from behind her. She holds out her hands as these energy claws begin to form around her hand. And then when she screams out in the air, you hear her yell, but you also hear the roar of a, of a, of a terrifying creature. And I need everyone to please make a saving throw, specifically wisdom for frightful presence. Frightened, frightened. Yeah, saving throw. Which one's my saving throws under again? Is it under? Uh, it, it should be under uh, uh, your your attributes. Got it, got it. Yep, yeah, and then we yeah, click yeah. it, it'll ask you that. Oh dear. Oh. Nice. Woo, 14. Not enough. So, uh, she will. You just watch as fear just sort of takes all of you, uh, with the exception of Violet. And then you'll watch as she, with her wings, flaps back a little bit and then keeps her pose right there. Eli. Uh, 
uh, Eli raises the remainder of his eyebrows and uh, <laughs> 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 takes a few steps back. He's never been looking for a fight here. Um. Okay. Top of the round. Uh. Want to ask? So, what is everyone's demeanor? Are they uh gonna take a hostile action against a little bit, or are they? Are you guys running to the cave? And to cave at this point. Isla wants to leave. Cave. I want to make sure everybody gets out. But yeah. All right. I will end the encounter as she kind of just keeps a like a hostile pose as she's looking at everyone and she's just watching these wings flap around there and she's just screaming how dare you try and tell me what to do and she's just what, what, what? arguing oh. argue. she's just screaming and arguing drama queen I try and get you're scared you know <laughs> you're like I stab queen. myself I get unscared fuck yeah. you <laughs> are you stabbing yourself no not right now Okay. <laughs> Guys, come on. No, 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 we, just, we didn't make no trouble. What? Then calm down. <laughs> uh, she won't stop like, yelling. As I'm going away, I start slapping my face. Like, damn it. Prey instincts. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, buddy. You do look like a dumpling, buddy. Look. Isla's waiting for everyone else with her hands on her hips. Yeah, Dash isn't going to move until everybody's in front of him. <laughs> Something about that dragon sound. I think they used to eat my kind. Probably. That sounds that sounds awesome. I like that lore. <laughs> <laughs> Many Stink tribe cool. of Cavus were consumed by age-old dragons. Alright. Look. We'll just go in there with the dragon. And, and we'll work things out later. It's fine. It's fine. Like, how hard can a dragon be? Right. She was that scary, and, you know, this thing just gave, she took a smidgen of his power. Why am I walking in ahead of everybody? I'm not going like to do that anymore. No, I have frail bones. Come on. I love kind of like... <laughs> Tess and her like, you're not moving either. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. I was waiting for you. Come on. Come on. Come, don't come, come on. on me. Come on. <laughs> All right, come smiles. on, you guys. You're supposed to be in front of the pack, aren't you? Yeah, but I didn't want to Come leave on. anybody behind there. With... Stop that. <laughs> yeah, you got to take the front. I'm not using my shield. It's dark. But you can't see in here. <laughs> <sighs> Isla sighs. Not again. She, uh... <laughs> Isla... <laughs> Sorry, Heliport vision <laughs> goes in. Mm, mushroom. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Dash still has a torch. Let me check. This will mean uh, that. No surprise. I can't see, dude. <laughs> you don't need to see. You just have to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm here for. I do. I do have torches. Would you like to use one? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I nearly prepared dark vision. It's one of those spells you don't think you need it until you need it. Yeah. And then Brett DMs you and you're like, God damn it. <laughs> it's like the same thing with feather fall. Oh Wait, God, you're on fire. Oh God, oh God, I smack, I smack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I'm the torch. Pats, 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 pats. <laughs> I have feather fall prepared. I just I didn't prepare dark. <laughs> I am Pash. I can well, like mushroom. Tap taps her cheeks and as, her eyes begin as to As you glow. approach into the cave, you hear the hiss of a lizard man who seems a lizard folk that's walking, approaching. It looks at you with a heavy club. <laughs> and it a lizard man in the dark. And okay. uh, it initiates combat. Can, can, can I squeeze in my dark vision before that? Nope. <laughs> oh, uh, I was waiting for everyone to stop talking. Yeah, okay. and then and then people started moving, and once people move, that that takes the y'all. Uh, <laughs> sorry. 
all the melee people in the party. <laughs> Y'all! <laughs> Sorry. Winces. Sorry about that. All right, let's begin. One, two. One, two. One, two. Convenient last name. Oh, it's the bottom of the list, dude. And uh, you just kind of watch. Let me check real quick. Yeah, that works. And you just see this blue, like acid, just that looks exactly like the acid that was in the uh, the bowl that you saw earlier. Oh jeez, that's a lot uh, of damage. Okay, go ahead and make a con saving throw. You got it. You get. I have the aura. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, what's your, what's plus, your Christmas plus modifier? Two, plus two, plus two. Oh, right. Okay, plus two, 25. Nice, you're good, you're good. You're oh, good. is it not even half damage? Nope. Oh, that's huge. Okay, nice. I just told you. Oh, you, I, you didn't have to You didn't have to roll anything, Dash. You weren't in the area. Oh, I thought I was. No, yeah. that's sweet, though. Oi, do you know how disgusting it is spitting at someone when they're coming to you on? <laughs> Everyone's so rude here. <laughs> Does he say anything back? <laughs> I don't, I don't. What'd you call me? <laughs> you understand I... him? No, but I'll oh. piss off. <laughs> oh, okay. Just take it easy, buddy. Oh, sorry. This should be a one second. So that this area is glowing with this like volatile blue that this lizard folk just vomited out of their mouth. All right, Hellbore. Uh, turns around. <laughs> look, look at that! It's Two hours in the session, and the dungeons finally began. It's the yeah. Spit. <laughs> oh, it was spit. Uh, I stabbed myself. <laughs> awesome. Ow. Very cool. By this too. I got it. Thanks, bud. Um, and then I shoot the lizard. Let's I see. shoot the lizard with a chill touch. I see it. Making sure that added your because this this also gives you a plus three to to damage, correct? Mm, uh, let me check. I believe it's just a plus three to my attacks. Dang, uh, cool, 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 cool. Spell and attack rolls. Oh, yeah, yep. I see it. And it adds in. Hey, that's awesome. Uh, that hits nine points of damage. He looks back at the mushroom. <laughs> I'm coming uh, for you. That's it for me. Uh, he cannot heal until the start of my next turn. All right, buddy. I'm gonna shoot with myself one of my adrenaline shots, and uh, I'm I'm gonna use a different type of rage this time. You see, as his little puffy tail suddenly like springs open, and like uncoiling from it is a big like almost xenomorph like spiked tail goes kind of uncoils out and then spikes up. Uh... Ah, ow! Oh, I'm going in, and <laughs> I'm gonna use my great axe this time. That's and it. And I'm gonna just go out and be like, it isn't polite. <laughs> to spit through spit that misses <laughs> uh, after I got into the first one I swing and miss and go at guests I step around him and go to the other side and yeah I'm my turn there alright Eli I shoot okay There we go. Uh, 11 points of damage. Scrap blade. There's three more of them, by the way. Why did you run that far ahead? Nine points of damage. Extra attack. 
Uh, miss. She will take the dodge action. Yeah, I won't have her go all the way there. Excellent. She'll go there. Excellent. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. And this one starts slamming their club down on the ground. <laughs> and then spits poison over here. Make a constitution <laughs> safe. You got it. Uh oh. All right. That'll be. Oh no, 18 acid damage. Buddy. And mostly, I only took three damage because of the temporary hit point. Uh, uh, you are okay. also poisoned until the end of your next round. Oh, I feel sick. I'm gonna throw up. Uh, Isla. Uh, Isla stays right where she is, but she focuses and does her spiritual armor and spiritual swiftness on herself. Uh, those are both bonus actions. You can only do one. Oh, are they both? Oh, I thought they were. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just the armor then. All right. You're now adding wisdom to your, uh, armor. You have an yeah. action remaining. Uh, Isla puts her hands on her hips as an action and the <laughs> oh actually wait 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 uh close that um, let me double check and make sure that this is a action yes that is okay yeah she's going to move one two never mind I can't see anything uh <laughs> a party's one weakness dark caves <laughs> I can't see anything wait can, shouldn't shouldn't she be able to see with my light yeah but only to like right here I see this one oh, I was gonna yeah. try and target okay. a full health one I got you um she will heavy despair this lizard folk that's literally right here alright spending two key points uh, make a mm -hmm. wisdom saving throw Success. Dang it. Okay. That's, that's fine, I guess. That's a 17. Uh, that, that's fine, I guess. Um, Then she just sits there and twiddles her fingers. All right. One, two, one, two, one. Yeah, there it is. Uh, starts beating the shit out of Buddy with a heavy club. Uh, 20 to hit. Uh, It will help unless I do this. I'm going to use my reaction to use my... Tails at a D8. Ooh. Uh, to, to my AC. That's fun. Uh, oh, wait, that's the attack. That's not the right one. Uh, let me just roll a D8 and then try to find the right one. Oh, it still hits me. Okay, that'll be five points of damage. Another whack with the club. 19? That's hit. Seven, uh, seven points of damage. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, gonna, yeah. gonna take the dodge action. Ash. Ash is gonna, oh, buddy, <laughs> just tiptoe around this acid. Five, ten, <laughs> fifteen. <laughs> Come 20. join the fry. Such a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna get within five feet of Buddy, so I can hopefully <laughs> help him not die, and then um, I'll attack this guy. Okay. Dave. 21. Dave, 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 Dave. Love points of damage. Um, I never smite. When is a good time to smite? <laughs> After you hit. But it, <laughs> or on yeah. crits. Crits are really good, but holding out for them is, is, is going to be rough if, you're, uh, if you've got loads of spell slots. We also do got to remember this is a dun, dun go, so That's I don't know true. how much spell slots you want to burn early on. Yeah. Okay. I'll wait for crits. You should always smite smile. Don't say that. <laughs> You're at that level where I can just lie to you and try and mislead you in the game. 
that's true. That, um, that, that oh, points I'll, damage, uh, yeah. I totally forgot about this, but I'll bonus action um, shove him. Uh, no, I'll trip him. <laughs> okay. So that uh, Buddy can hopefully get a hit on him. We oh, do- no, he goes next. We doing it's some op- fine. We doing some opposing uh, opposing checks right now. Yeah, acrobatics, right? Or is uh, it athletics? Athletics. Uh, at, it's always athletics for you, and I choose athletics or acrobatics for me. Out of sixteen. I have to check one thing real quick. It don't matter. None of this matters. <laughs> Dang. The, the lizard folk stands their ground as I roll a 19. Hot damn. And turn. Uh, as you go to kick at this thing's legs, it just looks at you and just grazes this club and, uh, yeah, hey. response in kind. Uh, 14, nope. 19. Does a 19 hit? Where's my, sh- where's my sheet? I didn't think it would hit you, right? You I tell me. I think your AC is like 21. You tell me, now. buddy. Uh, well, D and D Beyond says it's nineteen. Um, Check your character sheet in Foundry. Uh, twenty-one. So no, it doesn't hit. Woo! Elbor. <laughs> huh? We'll get, we'll get the mushrooms after Pat. Come on. Oh ha! I am me. A mod pet. Who? Oh. I'll go up here. Ooh, I gotta check range. Oh, he can reach. All right, so bonus action will be have command. Uh, will be commanding Pat to shoot this one. Ha! Blast with shotgun. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, no. Uh, just kidding. Ah! Uh-huh. You said just kidding. You said I, just kidding. I did just say just kidding. You are correct. Uh, yeah, you have to go. You nice. have to take. You have to take your action first before. Yes. Um. For all the times buddy, I've done get... that to Eli, I can't do that to. You. I I gotta do that to you as well. Buddy, you get hit really easy. Uh, I got 17 AC right now. Hey, be well. upon ye. <gasps> uh oh. He's gonna get a little angry. Oh shit! Let's go. He, he, he upon oh. ye. Uh, and then I have pet shoot. All right. I have pet shoot this one. All oh right. my son. Uh, Much better. Ah. Pfft. Good boy, Pat. <laughs> you just hear an echo. Pet. You just hear an echo throughout the cave. Uh, and with that echo, uh, this was supposed to happen. Oh no! Just kidding. Uh, no. Go on. Wait, oh, <gasps> wait, no, I'm still have temp HP. My healing does nothing. Okay, that's it for me. Well, I before I get excited, because I was like, I heal. I before heal. Buddy goes, an ongoing lair action occurs. This lair action happens through the entire dungeon. I rolled a 1d20. That's an eight. Excellent. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Uh, I have this magical 11 sided dice for some reason. Okay. Ooh, that's uh, that's real heartbreaking. Uh, you kind of hear this sort of like explosion sound happen in the background. You kind of hear this, and, be loop. and as it does that, <laughs> you, f- oh, I'm so sorry. You feel uh, the walls and the ceiling rattle uh, as a bunch of heavy stones collapses on Eli. No, Eli! It's so Eli. Man. Sorry, man. <laughs> Am I in a Charlie Chaplin film? What's going on here? <laughs> uh, Eli, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Was the 11 to pick who the rocks fell on? Yeah. Okay. That's some... Eli has some bad luck. Oh yeah. my god! Hey. <laughs> Eli! Hey. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Wait, you could have fallen oh. on all, the, all of the lizards, too? Damn. Cor- well, yeah. uh, so that's going to be 13 points of damage. Uh, and Eli is going to be prone. <laughs> At least that was, was that? just the temp. He still had the temp. Uh, next up is Buddy. 
All right, buzzing off the energy. Uh, I'm going to do reckless attack this turn. Okay. Uh, so I can get normal strikes. I'll take a normal strike against uh, this guy. Okay. Uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, normal strike against him. Uh, that hits. How do you dispatch of the lizard folk? I'm going to go right like, horizontally through the mouth. Don't spit. Move this way. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, I'll move. Do I have to be within five feet of you? Uh, for me to sentinel, yeah. Uh, hmm. If you care about that. <laughs> it's just that I don't want you to get, like, if I move, if I'm within five feet of you here, we're going to get spat on together. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's five feet for sentinel, this. ten feet for aura. Yeah, I'll stay here then. This is probably smart with that damage. Uh, and then I'm going to take another strike. Uh, do, do, do. Are you doing reckless or no? I thought you said you were doing reckless. I'm poisoned, so I'll have disadvantage anyway. Oh, so just, uh, I see out. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that misses. And then I go again. That misses. Damn. Okay. 16 is AC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Okay. Uh, in two. Eli, a bunch of rocks have collapsed on you. You are now prone. <laughs> I hate it here. You have to stand up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, that was oh. so unsettling. I just saw Amy turn to look at him. <laughs> yeah, she's wondering what's going on. She's just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's the first time she's ever seen it. That's me. The dodge shadow continue. All right. Pretty sure. Let me double check real quick. I probably should have asked this at a time, but how long do the potions of acid resistance last for? Well, I believe it is one hour. Okay. Yeah, one hour. Oh, that's a lot longer than I expected. It's good shit. Wee! Right. Yeah! I'm gonna step here. I'm gonna uh, whack you over the head with the club, buddy. It's gonna uh, be... you, have, you have advantage because I've recognized Oh, that. thank you. Uh, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll for crit. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be uh, six points uh, of damage. I'm gonna. No, I'll tell. Uh, mm, yeah, I'll tell that one. Okay. Uh, but do we do? That's rather be it. Yeah, I only just dodge it. My AC is currently 19, so that I, is up to 20. I killed Buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I killed Buddy for some reason. Oh, you're at 111. Buddy. Got it. Okay. Uh, no, no, because I wouldn't have taken. Oh, no, yeah, it was. Okay. 111 beforehand? Yeah. Or was it after this hit? Because I accidentally did. It says Buddy takes 111 points of damage, so okay. you, you're yeah, at 111. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to do six points of damage there. And then we're going to slam. Oh, no, it. I, I, blocked, I just blocked that one there. Oh, you did block it. Yeah. With, with a 19? I thought you had an AC 17. Uh, oh, I've got haste on. Oh, got the I see two, what you're saying. The yeah. yeah. Okay. Math is hard. That's okay. Especially when it's just one. Anyways, I hit you again. Damn, mate. You've been rolling hot, man. That hits. I always do for some reason. Isla. Uh, okay. Uh, I just want to note that I gave Isla 18 temp HP from her uh, armor. That's where that came from. I, it popped up in the chat. I was like, oh, that looks weird for that to just pop out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Um, you're, your temp's at 33 for some weird reason. Should only be at 18. What? What? No, I have 15 from from self, uh, temp doesn't, self age of leaders. Temp doesn't stack. Wait, it doesn't? Nope. No, highest it amount. takes the highest. No, it's oh, super annoying. Oh, really? Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Okay. Sag. Oh, I'm so sad. Okay. Um... Uh, yeah, 30. I'm going to go right there. Um, I have a question. Yes. Are these, like, left behind? Are those still poisoning? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was thinking. Alright. Um Where is there? Okay, please remember that's where it was. Boop! She goes there. Okay. And she uses spiritual swiftness on herself as a bonus action. And as her action, she's gonna do um uh yeah, heavy despair on this dude. Understood. Uh wisdom save? Yes. Failed. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and that's gonna be my turn. It's gonna be me. Um Buddy! 19 to hit. Uh yeah. Five points of damage. Miss! Wait, is that this dude? Yes. He gets, uh... Yep, no. already rolled. Oh, okay, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know! It doesn't show up on the thing immediately. <laughs> already Christ. done. Yeah, let's eat this guy. Uh, five points of damage. <laughs> Okay, take your hands off the keyboard for a second, Brett. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> too okay, hot. okay. Uh, 18 does not hit, correct? Doesn't hit me at the moment, uh, nope. All right, Dash. Okay. Um, Dash is going to move up. Uh, I'll attack this guy. Oh! oh. I oh. smite. Oh. There it is. Nice. That's there the nice. one. That's a good yes. smite. That's a good smite. That's a good smite. Ooh, that. that's a smite. good Ooh, smite. Ooh. Nice. That's a good smite. He says, back up, and I'm going to try and <laughs> kick him here. Oh, okay. Right babe. Here. Spicy. You're like an angel. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Know your place. Back up. <laughs> back the fuck up. Who knows well. <laughs> Back the fuck up. And he'll move up. Um... And then uh, I'll I'll use my second attack on him. We'll try to just yeah. Oh, another oh! another. You can Damn, do it. Dude. You can do it again. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> it feels good. I like oh big number. How do, you, how do you kill this lizard folk in I, one I round? Think, I think it feels like it happens super fast. Like he just sees Buddy getting ganged up on steps forward, smashes this guy in the face with the shield, kicks him to the side, and then hits him again and just knocks him out. <gasps> that was beautiful. He killed. You okay? <gasps> he killed. I uh, am there. <laughs> oh, buddy, your eyes are super blown out. <laughs> whoa, whoa, guys, focus on the fight. Sorry, um, my bonus action will be to, uh, oh no, I used my bonus action to kick him. So Correct. Correct. Elabor. You like the Zaza, buddy? What the hell is a Zaza? No, I don't smoke that stuff. <laughs> I went through that face. <laughs> okay, I shoot the one in front of Buddy. Uh, that hits. Eleven points of damage. Um, Pat, you know what to do. Huh? Go shoot. Go shoot the one in front of your daddy. <laughs> Oh, I'm on the. That's why I'm on them. But the, I'm on the ruler tool. Ooh, three, ah. four, five. Pat gives finger guns over to Isla. <laughs> Isla. While holding a shotgun in one arm. Wrong order. one. Wrong one. Wrong ah. one. <laughs> Please don't like, do that. Please like point it that way. Like underneath the bony arm, he's like, ha. Ah. <laughs> Please don't do that. Uh, and, he... and then Pat gives actual gun to uh, to Dash. Ha! Ah, waves he the gun should... around. <laughs> Hey, Dash talk. I'm real proud of you, buddy. He shoots the one in front of Dash. Oh, thanks. Oh, ah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's it for me. Careful. Uh, at the end of the round, I need to make a roll. Fun. Uh, I'm going to roll a one, two, three, four. Oh, one, no. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to roll a 1d9. And yes, nine is Eli. Okay, one, two. <laughs> uh, All right. 
Rather me or one of the lizards, I think. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's either you or that. <laughs> it's gonna hit you guys no matter what. I yeah, think. um, what if I told you uh, that you were correct on all the accounts? I need dexterity Woo saving throws from everyone in that area. I'll get we the have slap. advantage. Yes, I, have I don't. I don't get that though. Do it. I? Or do I get? Do I get a benefit from my own aura? No, right? Uh, yes, you do. Added. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll. I think it auto adds for you. Troll dex, dex. We'll see it. <laughs> yeah, oh, the mine aura. should be a. The aura uh, added it. Sixteen. Uh, that should be a six. Uh, uh, no, it already added the two, buddy. <laughs> did it? It did. No, 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 oh, no, no, my... no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm talking, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. I'm talking to Dodger. No, <laughs> Dodger, it already added your two charisma. <laughs> You're just... I can't believe it. I'm sure a six would have saved me. <laughs> and yes, buddy, you are good. Oh, no, you're not. Uh, 17 was the DC. No one... No! No, no one succeeded. <laughs> All right, but the lizard folk also take nine points of damage. Uh, four is points... Is it Yes, it is. Woohoo! Nice. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, and then everyone here is prone. Yay. Oh, huge for this next round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't get have up, this get up, get up, get up. <laughs> yeah, then I, was, I was like, oh, I'm going to wreck this and get my ass beat next, but now I don't. Buddy. I hop back up into my finger. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And just, uh, I'm gonna do advantage strikes on all three. Uh, that hits, that hits, that hits. So that's gonna be 41, uh, 51 <laughs> points of damage. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> Holy, Let's rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. My turn. Uh, Eli. Here comes the special man. Here comes the sun. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> I can't. Mm. I would take disadvantage for shooting prone, wouldn't I? Correct. Pocket. Ooh. Trick shot. Who are you aiming at? <laughs> the um, healthier one. Okay. Uh, that hits nine points of damage. Second attack. That misses. Great rolls, though. Bonus action, Amity attack. <laughs> I believe you can make the attack roll through your character sheet now. Uh, in features, I added uh, the rend. So you did. She says, please don't get up. Uh, roll again to fish for crit. Because Amity has advantage. There we go. Uh, that's eight points of damage. I will spend uh, an arcane jolt to have her do an additional 2d6. Let's see it. How does Amity dispatch of the lizard folk? She brings her axe down directly into its skull. Nice. All right, Eli, that ends your round. <laughs> From the rubble, you watch as this guy just sort of slowly gets up, <clears throat> looks over at Buddy, slams with club. Miss. Miss. Isla. Nice. Isla, scooch up. And she will uh, strike. Uh, that hits. 10 points of damage. And strike again. That miss. Uh, extra attack. Strike. That definitely missed. Uh, Isla cries a little bit inside. And she backs off. Excellent. Very good. <clears throat> uh, next up is Dash. I hit. You're prone. I get up. <laughs> I 
I hit from the floor. <laughs> uh, 12 misses. I hit again. That hits. 16 points of damage. Good hit. Yay. Arr! I try to knock him over again. You try. I try. Let's see it. 21. Uh, yes. Are you pushing back or knocking down? I'm knocking him down. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. Humble. Beautiful. And boop. All right. Hellebore. Uh, by the way, these go bye-bye. Oh, nice. Uh, it's disadvantage, but I'll try to hit him with a chill touch. A uh, boop. That hits six points of damage. That's Nicely done. Juicy, gosh. Pat, go shoot that man. Ha! Pat will go right here. And we'll shoot him. <clears throat> I think it's also a disadvantage because it's still range, but. Correct. Boop. Uh, that still hits 13 points of damage. God damn, oh. Pat. Uh, that's it for me. Buddy. Uh, just kidding. I need to make a roll. Yeah, you uh, do. Nothing happens. Your turn. I'll reckless attack just to guarantee the end. Uh, whoosh. How do you kill this lizard folk? Swing upwards, cut the head off. The nice encounter. quick. The encounter is ended. Everyone all right? Yeah. You okay, buddy? Yeah, a little, a little scraped up, but yeah. And lethargy. Pew, pew, pew. Whoa, it <laughs> catches him? <laughs> do, do, oh, you, hey. do you like daintily faint? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He like swoons. I, I, put a, I put a hand to Dash's, probably his shoulder. No, no, it wouldn't even be probably his elbow. <laughs> it wouldn't work between us, mate. Uh, Let's focus on the mission. Buddy, okay. watch your fucking place! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say so you could hear, okay? I whispered that. <laughs> fail RP, fail RP. You true, you true. <laughs> All right. All right. Those are the little ones. Big one's gonna have a nasty, nasty mouth in it. Uh, Hellebore, what were you doing? I want mushrooms. Hmm, all right. Uh, this would be the gathering of materials that you could do. Uh, go ahead and give me a wisdom saving throw. Also, uh, did you know that you can actually get yourself some nice um, shearing scissors specifically for gathering uh, alchemist loot? that allows you to gather as if you did have proficiency in survival when it comes to this. You don't have that now, though. I'm hee hee silly. <laughs> I'll buy it next time. Is okay. it wisdom save or wisdom check? Wisdom check. Survival. Oh, okay. I'll just do survival then. Come here, survival. Yeah, you just kind of watch as you slowly try to take pieces out of this general area, uh, and it just falls apart. Pat, you elbowed me while I was trying to harvest. Ooh, one second. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, you will still successfully harvest out of all the ones that you've kind of, like, gathered around trying to get. Um, I'm going to say this takes 10 minutes, by the way, for you to try and collect these mushrooms. Give me one second, please. Uh, you will get a violet mushroom. I have added it to your uh, inventory for you to look over later. It's in your loot. I'm going to eat it later. <laughs> Sounds good. Guys, I got mushrooms. Got mushrooms? Got mushrooms. Huh. Before you uh, is a fork in, the, fork in the cave. I love, before anything else, yes. she pats her cheek, her eyes glow, and she gets dark vision, please. 
<laughs> Please. God. Please. Let me see. Understood. Thank you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. I want my dark vision. Oh, you got 120 dark vision. Yeah, God. I see forever. Ah, God damn. Well, that changes everything. Uh, Isla, you can see on this road, at least down to a rope bridge that is dangling over a pit. Oh, that's fun. Um, that long straight of potion, how long does it last for? One hour. I might knock it back now, just so I have it for the dungeon. Well, actually, I'll probably have it until... Oh, no, no, no. With your, with your short rest mechanic, you get the automatic short rest when you kill a boss. Correct. Does that happen immediately afterwards, or do you have to take the short rest? Uh, you can choose the. You can choose whether. So uh, you get respite points. You can choose how to spend your respite points, and you get a short rest. You can choose what order you would like to do that in. But once all of that is resolved, uh, that's that. So you can't like save the short rest for later. What What I mean is, do you, do you have to spend the hour like a short rest usually does? No, no, no. It's it's instantaneous. Okay. Then I'm going to long strider then, because that way it should last for a lot of the dungeon. All right. So up by seven. Your movement speed's increased by 10 feet for one hour. Yeah, don't forget you guys have those acid resistances if you ever want to knock those back at any point, because those will last an hour. Yeah, uh, I feel like it's a pretty good play. If we come across more of these guys, that was acid. True. Uh, I'm also going to while we're like taking a second uh i want to cast aid mm. so it won't get rid of people's temp hp it like adds to the hit point max um i'll apply it to buddy and isla and um <laughs> and eli because he keeps getting fucked by stuff thank you um i'll it lasts for eight hours so Oh. Each target's hit point max and current hit points increase uh, by five, but since I cast it at a higher level, it'll be 10, I think. Uh, that is correct. That's huge. Little boy magic? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, good call. Wait, what do I roll? 100? Minimize spell. Does the minimum amount of spell damage. So you're good. Nothing happens. Oh, thank God. Dash, feel, Dash feels like something was weird with that spell, but it's the first time he's ever cast it. So he's like, okay, it's probably just, you know, it's probably just the kinks. probably just the wind. All right, I'll need he's, you. It's all, probably the wind. Just so we don't uh, fuck up your character sheets. Uh, oh, wait. Do, underneath there's a tank yeah, yeah, there's a little area with max. So put 10 in, in your, your max slot, everyone Ooh. that got targeted. I uh, like that it used to be called Little Boy Magic. I hope it's just called Big Boy Magic. Big now. Boy Magic. <laughs> uh, He's a Isla, big boy. <laughs> Isla got A2, correct? Yeah. Okay. I think uh, what it, it, its actual name is what, Unstable Divinity. Yes. Unstable Divinity Table. Yes. But yeah, it's the big boy magic table. Big boy magic. <laughs> big boy. Strong big boy. boy magic. He's a big boy now. What do you reckon then? Do you reckon knock back the Asher potions or? Tell you what, I'll be risky in the next room. I'll knock mine back. Ah, oh, that doesn't really help. <laughs> if these are the only fellas that had acid, it's gonna be a goddamn waste, but I suppose it's better to be safe I mean, than sorry. Didn't they yeah. say that the dragon also used acid? The actual dragon apparently spits acid, so it might I be mean... good to save it. I'd be more afraid of his acid than any of these. And it lasts for an hour, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I... Oop. <laughs> Mixing the... Everything's going in me today, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so funny. <laughs> um, is this stairs or is this a drop? Uh, those... That is a... that Those are stairs descending down. Okay. And, go down. and then this is a little archway you can walk under. There's a Which bridge way this way. Sense. That looks like it goes deeper, but that bridge doesn't look stable. Should we pick the other way first, then? Sure. We can investigate it, at least. 
Um, can I do a, uh, can I, like, listen out through these two pathways and see, like, if I can hear anything moving down Sure, make these? a perception check. Sweet. Ooh. Ah, beautiful. You're so good. Down here, you hear, like, this faint, like, echo, like, a, this faint, almost, like, chiming sound. Um, it's soothing, uh, to hear from the south. Uh, over here, you hear the echoing snarls of lizard folk. Let's go south first. There's enemies what? the other way for sure, but there's something different down here. I'm not sure what it is, but it sounds like chimes. I, I dash. Yeah. What's up? You, you, you should go to the front, mate. You're, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I was spacing out. You're gonna take your, your potion or? Excellent. Now that you've <laughs> moved into my trap, no, I'm yep. kidding. Give me one second. I just I need spit on me. Do it. <laughs> Dash, come back to us. T poses. Come on. <laughs> you heard a metaphor. I didn't think oh. he'd ever ask me that this this soon, but I mean, if he's asking for it, oh, uh, no. you may you may continue. Okay. Waits for rest of group to be walking with us. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Cautiously. You and Eli have to escort our children. Okay. Uh, as you walk in, it seems to be an alcove filled with all unique types of, uh, of flora, specifically mushrooms. The chiming <laughs> sound you're hearing is from this. Oh, how interesting. Wait, 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 wait. What the, what the hell is that thing? Plant life um, looks like. Uh, Hellebore. <laughs> oh, that plant's going to eat you. Look at it. Can I divine it's got a mouth. Real quick. Uh, yeah, sure. A divine sense. You don't sense any evil here. You sense um, me. Hee <laughs> hee. Just be careful. All right, oh, Hellebore, you have check. two options. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this mushroom uh, oh. appear. Go on. I was gonna ask, do I feel evil from like, uh, I don't know how far I can sense, but like- Right, 60 feet and no. Okay. Cool, that was my question. Sorry, continue. Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, so Hellebore, you have two options here. Yeah. Um, this seems to link to some special type of uh, fungus that's growing underneath the area. Um, you feel that you may be able to su successfully harvest it. However, if you get a little greedy, uh, you can harvest an excessive amount of it, but it will kill the subject in the process. So would you like to do it uh, with uh, conservatively or you want to go all out? Did I make an arcana check first to see what exactly it does before I decide? Uh, absolutely. Arcana or nature will suffice. Arcana, baby. Excellent. Uh, these mushrooms can be used for ingredients for uh, alchemy. Uh, the mushrooms that you've been gathering around here is a mixture of sorts. Some are good just for general potions. Others are good for poisons. Uh, the azure mushrooms that you can collect from this uh, can be used for both poisons and potions, and it is highly valuable. Mm. In fact, because of your 20, I will inform you the market value of the, the mushrooms that you can harvest from this. The market value of the Azure mushroom is 200 credits. All the other mushrooms you could harvest are typically 50. Hold up. Greed. Understood. Uh, uh -huh. you, you can roll at advantage for your um, survival check, uh, and this will double the yield can, if you are successful. Can Isla offer help in any way? Do you have? Uh, do you have knowledge? Or do you have uh, survival wisdom? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, no, because Hellebore is already rolling at advantage. Uh, okay. Can I just guidance then? Yes, you can. Bah! 
I go. Oh! Oh! I'm rolling it anyways. Fuck you! <laughs> Perfect. One moment, please. All right. Uh, you will successfully pull from this uh, from this sort of chiming fungus four azure mushrooms. That's a significant amount. Mushroom. Uh, oh, one second. Azure, these mushrooms are an uncommon ingredient. You got four, so that's 800 credits worth of azure mushroom. I've placed it in your loot area. And then as you uh, continue to harvest as much as you can, I'm going to say that takes 10 minutes to do so. Uh, you will just watch as it just sort of deflates a little there. Killing it in the process. I've killed a rare species of mushroom. Let us leave. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't actually know if it's rare. I just, I, I, I wanted it. Well, hopefully it'll be helpful down the line. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Pat, I'm gonna start growing mushrooms on you one of these days. Ha! Onward. Upward mm -hmm. and onward. Please make sure your party is well placed together. I'm trying to stay in the back. Yes, very good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Eli. I didn't mean to. Yes. That's terrifying. Oops. Yes. All right. No one sees this as you watch an oh, arrow no. fling over here. Uh, you then realize you have arrows uh, being shot at from across the way. Seems these lizard folk may be guarding something. Ooh. So for now. <laughs> uh, for now, I will roll everyone's initiative. I will remove the steel defender from combat. Who am I missing? Me. Yeah, because you're all the way in the back. Yeah. As you should be. <laughs> uh, all right. And I think that's where we're going to stop today's session, just so we don't go into a combat and then immediately yeah, end. Sense. Yeah. Uh, and that wraps up today's session. The dungeon has just begun. <laughs> yes. Yep. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for playing. Did you guys have fun yeah. today? Yeah. Very good. Very yeah. good. All right. Uh, let me I got check. a concussion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It's always you, dude. Yeah. Again. <laughs> I can jump that bridge. Uh, <laughs> there is going to be um, no D&D &D next Thursday because it's Thanksgiving. So the say and I will be taking the day uh. off. Hey. Yeah, and uh, uh, but we will be back the following week uh, as you guys continue exploring. I'm gonna miss Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, <laughs> a certain missing agent of chaos. <laughs> Logan, honestly, I want him to come play Pat. You don't want that. I want him to play Pat. He would have 100 percent shot that woman. <laughs> I thought it would that would have been hilarious. But I feel like he's oh chaotic God. enough to be Pat. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I will leave that up to you if you would like. I will I will ask him for <laughs> next session if he wants to come and play Pat. I will uh I will that leave it up to you. That would be hilarious. Honestly. Yeah, there it is. Uh is he leaving long term? No, he's he's separated from the party right now. Um so it since we're hopping back and forth between events it does unfortunately mean Jesse might be missing for a couple of sessions but if he's down to be pat that'd be pretty fun 
Yeah. That'd be a fun time. Hopefully. Especially because Pat has so much HP now. It's not like he gets hit once and he dies. What if what if Jesse has so much fun being uh, Pat that he's just like, can this be my, my character now? Can this be my main character? <laughs> Uh, we turned him into a ribeye situation. Hey, everyone. You, know, you guys want to do some bingo? Bingo. I want a bingo. Yeah. You want a bingo? <laughs> okay. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let us bingo, then. Baking the bingo. Episode, I think this is episode 20 now. No, this is episode 21. Wow. Yeah. This is this season's been going on a hot minute. Uh, season three, episode 21, a job for two. Dragon fight! Nope, didn't happen. Oh, I'm sharing screen, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Every time I, I every time I go in and you guys aren't watching the screen and I start talking to myself, and then you guys are like, I was seen it. I feel like the biggest putts. That... Maybe if we could see it, Brett. <laughs> 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 uh, more bad dreams for Dash. No, Jack gets jumped by a monster, forcing Logan to intervene. Uh, would Logan intervene? That's the question. Eh. I feel like uh. Logan w would. No, well, Logan would intervene just so he can get to the bottom of it. I I don't think he would do it to protect Jack. He would do it so that he can maintain. He can keep his lead alive. Is the way I think Logan would do it. Uh, Piper uses the amulet. That might as well be a free fucking space. Disguise self shenanigans? No. Logan uses. I thought this said Morty. Uh, Logan uses his Morgan. Nope. Uh, Piper tries contacting. Lo nope. Buddy okay, speaks to. I will Anna say nope. something. I will yes. say something about the Piper tries contacting Logan again. Space. Yes. I rolled an IRL dice to, at the beginning of session to see if I would send in because Hellebore had an idea, but Piper was like, that's a fucking terrible idea. Mm -hmm. And it was, I'm going, I was going to send in Logan. I was going to be, it was my last uh, idea and it was uh, going to be, if you don't fucking get your ass back here right now, I'm going to dig up your dead son and use him as a puppet. <laughs> <gasps> No. But uh, Piper was like, mm, why don't, let's not do that. <laughs> Holy shit. So Buddy speaks to an animal. That didn't happen. <laughs> uh, what we learn what, nope. Uh, we, wait, we learn what Logan's response to sending is. Oh, no, we didn't. Uh, Logan nope. finds the missing food. Nope. Piper anal analysis for wheat. Nope. Logan find. Nope. Bingo time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nat one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Vic Victor leaves. Cl nope. Crafting time. Yep. Penchy somehow instills Logan. Nope. All the party leaves Aquarian. Yep. Someone takes emotional damage. Anyone take emotional damage today? Mm. I feel like I'm Eli tired has. Of emotional damage. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, more sending. Nope. Negotiation with the Dragon Coven. Yes, actually. All, that, yeah, totally. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't negotiated. Yeah, you did negotiate. Eli and Dash have a quiet moment. Never. Eli and Dash haven't had a quiet moment in a long time. Yeah. Someday. <laughs> Dash goes over to Eli. I guess I'm in the market for a new dad. And Eli's like, what? <laughs> Dash is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so lonely out there on the pier. Third one's the herself. charm. It's third, third time's the charm. Nat 20, <laughs> yes. Uh, Dash's survival training comes in handy. No. Yeah, I had to roll survival to get the <gasps> fish. fishing. Yes, you are correct. And then Logan Yeesh. and Pinchy get it. Nope. Well, I can one. make a bingo right now if I tell you guys what the sending is. Hey, nope, that doesn't count. It's like, <laughs> we're, out of, we're out of the game world, baby. <laughs> And you already told everyone what it was, so that doesn't fucking... You told them out of character. You told yeah. them out of character, and your character... Cream doesn't know, though. Winky face. Yeah, your character is now uh, uh, sundered out of all that. All right. Well, guys, once again, thank you so much for playing. We'll be off next week for the holidays, but we'll be back on the 30th. Sounds good with you guys? Oh, yeah. my God, the 30th. That means it'll be December, and then the Bro, year's going to be over. Don't. It's going to be 2024. Oh, my oh. God. <sighs> hey, do you remember around the same time last year? I was I was genuinely thinking about this. Uh, you guys were doing the uh, the Avatar of Hecaton fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, my God. Oh, my God, it has been a year. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Time's weird. All that right. It is time, dude. All right. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Okay. Bye bye, okay. Brad. Bye bye. bye. bye.